Hello everyone. Good morning. Oh boy. <laughs> um, hi. I hope you had a good night. I hope you had a good morning. It's been a whole, um, five hours since we were last here. <laughs> oh man. Um, I know a lot of you have questions. And so we'll talk about them. Um, basically, what happened was, we were hanging out, and Barbara got a call from Aurora, and said that Scruffy stabbed her, and then took her to Grandma's, and then, uh, let's see, <clears throat> they then went to pick up Aurora, and then Scruffy and Gus and Pilda showed up. And then uh, there was some conversation, etc. And then they left, went to the hospital, 
Barbara texted Scruffy. Scruffy got pissed and called, uh, called Aurora. So then they went to get food because Aurora and Kiki were hungry. And then uh, they found Scruffy just by, just by chance. So Barbara terrorized him with the car a little bit. And then uh, took out her gun and forced Scruffy into the car at gunpoint and then was like, Kiki, drive! And Kiki was like, what the hell is happening? This is a bad idea. What is even going on? And then was told to drive to, quote-unquote, Barbara's house, which is the tent outside Bryce's house. And then, uh... Conversation was had. There was some SBS. And then Barbara brought Scruffy to the ocean. <laughs> to ocean dump him and Kiki said stop it <laughs> she has a fun thing with ocean dumping she doesn't like it can't imagine why and then uh, um, they took out a gun Kiki said I'm out of here I can't deal with this I'm out bye Um she explained why she followed Barbara's directions she said she didn't know what was going to happen, and she wanted to make sure no one got hurt, and she was trying to de-escalate the situation. She was trying to make sure no one got hurt. She explained that. Kiki, want, Kiki just tries to help people. She didn't know what was going on, and honestly, things like this happen all the time, where people, like friends kidnap their friends, and they just do stupid stuff, but nothing ever actually comes of it. Except for this time it did. <laughs> it was, she was acting out of confusion. She had no idea what was actually happening and the scale that it was going to go to and how bad it was going to escalate. She just wanted to take pictures, man. She just wanted food. <laughs> so, uh, Scruffy then shot Aurora. And so Kiki shot Scruffy because Scruffy still had a gun pointed at Barbara, and then Scruffy pointed a gun at her, so when he pointed the gun at her, she shot at him. And then she called 911, and the rest kind of went from there. Cool. <laughs> so now, man, my, my voice feels shot. <laughs> oh. Aurora did perma. Let's see.
We have a lawyer. No, Kiki's lawyer is not Rory. Kiki's lawyer, look, Kiki's lawyer is um, Saren Aid. Airport weights are boring. Uh -huh. I'm going to do her a favor. A five hour delay? Why do you have a five hour delay? God, her tent is still there. I'm gonna do her a favor since I don't know if, uh. Hello? Did it. Hello? Hello? Oh! Well, that's why. That's stupid. <laughs> I was like, why won't the sign go up? Uh oh. No pixel? Are you dead? Hello? Okay, there we go. That was weird. It wouldn't load. <laughs> How could Kyle Pred do this to us? I know. It's true. Oh no. Don't do this, please. Oh god. It's giving me an error that I can usually only fix by restarting my computer. I really hope. I really hope. Come on. Oh, no. I can't even get 5M to reopen. Oh, here we go. Okay. It's giving me the, um... Uh, the no heartbeat error. Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh, man. I mean, if I have to restart my computer, I'll, I'll do it. Oh, apparently Shirley got it too. Oh god. Let's try again. Yeah, Ray for Rachel just texted me, RP denied. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, we are in queue. <laughs> oh gosh, she's also getting no heartbeat received. Okay, I'm downloading. I'm downloading. Oh, I took a lot of pictures. The whole intent was to try... So we have a project we're working on, too. trying to, oh you'll even you'll get it soon tm i also need to finish my water cert training but we'll see what happens That is the one thing I hope, is that she doesn't lose her job out of this, because her job is her life, and that would break Kiki. Okay, let's do this real quick. Hello? Ugh, me. Can we, can we stop being a butthead? There we go. There we go. Okay. Alright, figure out how to do that for her since I don't know. Oh god! Oh god, oh god, oh god. That plane is making. Oh god. Oh god, plane. Remember, Tessa didn't actually leave, she's in the house.
guess. Oh, it is the same tsunami. <laughs> I'm not... What the? Huh? Hello? What is happening? Apparently no RP for me today. All right, we're getting right back in. RP detected. I'm two out of 25 in queue. Oh man. It's been 20 minutes and we've head popped twice. <laughs> banned. Oh no. I'm banned. I shot Scruffy so I got banned. <laughs> Finally! How could you do this? The ultimate betrayal. Top 10 anime betrayals. Here we come. <laughs> Kinda weird, Kiki. Man, all of yesterday was incredibly cursed. Between the radiation RP coming back and the B facts. Oh god, you want B facts now? Okay. Um let's see what we got. Oh, God, really? This is where it had popped at? Okay. Let's try this again. Alright, let's try to get some gas. That's all I want is some gas. Swear to God. Um, she doesn't stream. She has a Twitch, but she doesn't stream. And I don't know if Goblin was streaming. Probably wasn't. <laughs> uh, Scruffy probably was. 
see if Maddie answered during my head pop. Oh, my text to Maddie didn't even go through. Was I really the only one streaming? <gasps> Barbara's really something. Yep, that is the last text we sent, Bryce. Moments before disaster. Uh, Lana always, thank you so much for the follow. Hello and welcome. 
Also, I had a bee fact. I don't know if I said it out loud, but but like me, bees don't sleep. <laughs> Do we have, we don't, oh, it's not good. She could work today if she wanted to, I think. We'll see if she wants to. We're just waiting for a ping from, uh, from Shirley. Actually, while we're waiting for that ping, there's somewhere we can go. not something I want to think about. Is that a local? The thing is though, Kiki didn't leave because there were people in danger. And Kiki is not someone who walks away from like clear danger when she doesn't know what's going to happen. She stayed because she wanted to make sure no one got hurt and she wanted to try and de-escalate the situation. She panicked. Yes, she physically had every opportunity to leave, but that's not who Kiki is. Kiki is the person who will stick around because she wants to try and protect everyone, but also try and figure out what the hell is going on and try and de-escalate the situation, which didn't work because no one was listening to her. So she had every opportunity to leave, yeah, but she didn't. <laughs> there were a lot of factors in why she didn't leave.
Uh, this is actually the music that I hear Nikita use a lot for a lot of the uh, investigation stuff. It's called ghosting. Hey. go to a spa and talk, okay? That'd be nice. Where are you going? <gasps> I don't know anything that's going on, but I do know that uh, everything will be okay. Honestly, I was there, and I still don't entirely know what the fuck happened. When did this happen? Literally last night. Like, late last night? I had to wake up after a storm, and I was around for several hours afterward because of it. Oh. That's how late, yeah. Well, we'll take a moment when we get where we're going and you can kind of organize and we can talk through it, okay? Mm. Oh, we're going to... This is a good place. Mm -hmm. I usually go to the, the ranger tower right next to where we're going. Oh, Yeah, where we're going is a spot that Steven and I like to camp sometimes. <laughs> Shirley is one of Kiki's best I had to friends. Drive all the way to Mirror Park to get gas. Wait, really? There was no gas in Polito. There oh was God. no gas in Sandy. Um, the gas station at the, um, end of Great Ocean Highway here, or by Bay City Incline, uh, mm -hmm. has gas now. Ooh, okay. It's very recent. Oh, do you still need gas? No. I'm, oh, I got oh, I it. See. I went all the way to Mirror Park. So I've just been all around the island. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were turning around. I was like, wait, what? No, no. <laughs> we actually don't have a gun. I haven't had a chance to go buy another but one. I had Clementine out, and I was going to bring Clementine, and then Clementine needed gas, and I was like, okay, maybe I'll bring out the beef jeep. The beef jeep also needs gas. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why does everything need gas? Yeah. It's unfortunate. Thank you. I drove an explorer all through these hills yesterday. It was fun. Ooh, like a police car. Yeah, so, um, uh, Dante, do you know Dante Wolf? Mm, it's I don't okay. Think so. He, he, he's not around as often as, uh, I guess he used to be or something, but I, he, he let us borrow his car when he went to bed. It was like a decommissioned police car. And it was fun. I wish I could have my own. Does it handle the mountains well? Oh, yeah. I, um... At one point I came out here because I just wanted to take some pictures and, like, relax and decompress. And so I just kind of mm -hmm. climbed the mountains. And then I started working on a little bit of a personal project, which... I'm kind of wishing I had kept doing. the heck? What? You didn't see that sign back there? Uh, where? It said, like, like, Wastelanders? The heck? Oh. Who are oh, they? I've never heard of them before in my life. Neither have I. Interesting. 
Another person trying to claim another area. I guess so. Good. Yes, great. I like the view. Let me just, in case anyone calls me. Yeah, let me uh, text Steven really fast because he texted me. Give me a moment. Okay. You can start wherever you want. You can take your time to collect your thoughts. I'm here to listen. So I was hanging out with a friend. Um, we were just going along and she got a phone call from a friend of hers. Um, do you know Aurora Sparks? No. That's okay. Um, well, Aurora is the friend that... Who called. The, who called. Okay. Got it. And um, she called my friend and said that she was at grandma's because... Because Scruffy had stabbed her. Um, and then he took her to grandma's and left her there. Scruffy stab Aurora. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then we went over to pick her up and then Scruffy showed up with apparently his girlfriend and Pilvis because his girlfriend had run him over and so they were back oh. to take care of him. And um, There was some talk while we were there. We tried to figure out why he even stabbed her to begin with. And he kept saying that she no balls him and said that he wouldn't. Which is a stupid excuse to stab somebody. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess he was upset that he was, that she was flirting with his girlfriend or something. I don't know. Um, so we took Aurora to the hospital to make sure she was okay because grandma's is not sanitary in the slightest and uh, then after that we decided we wanted to get something to eat because Aurora and I were hungry so you guys picked up Aurora from grandma's mm -hmm. went to the hospital went to the hospital anyway. and then went to go get dinner because we were just hungry and um, during that uh, my friend had texted Scruffy saying that what he did was fucked up. He didn't appreciate that she texted him saying what he did was fucked up. So he called Aurora. And they got into an argument over the phone. And during this, we actually happened upon Scruffy, just by chance, um, in Little Soul. So, um, my friend kind of circled him like a shark with the car, but everyone was laughing. Even Scruffy was laughing. It was just, you know, your usual nonsense, like everyone's just being stupid, but everyone's okay. Mm -hmm. And then my friend took out a gun and told him to get in the car. Told Scruffy to get into the car. Mm -hmm. And then told me to drive. And at this point, I don't understand what's happening anymore. I'm trying to tell them it's a bad idea and that we shouldn't do this, whatever it is, like the joke's going too far, whatever is happening. But I drove because 
there was a gun involved, and you kind of just do whatever somebody who has a gun says. Mm -hmm. And I really just wanted to try and get them to calm down and figure out what was happening, you know? So then yeah. we drove to the beach and we talked. They tried to figure out what happened, what, what the hell Scruffy's problem was. At he, this point, was it just you and your friend and Scruffy or was Aurora's Aurora there, there as well? too? Okay. So then, um, Scruffy had said he was high as hell, even sounded very deranged when he said it. Um, he almost sounded like he enjoyed stabbing Aurora. <laughs> it was weird. Oh. And, uh, we just talked. And then my friend grabbed him by the arm and led him to the ocean. And it's at this point, I just, I don't understand really what's happening anymore. And, um... Was the conversation heated, or were you guys just having, like, a normal a, conversation trying I to mean, get to the bottom of it? I mean, it was it was heated in so much as how Scruffy just kind of talks. <laughs> yes. Where he's just always aggressive. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, and... I don't know. They took him to the water, which kind of was my limit because I don't find ocean dumping funny for obvious reasons. Yeah. And um, the gun came out again. So at that point, I was like, I don't know if you're trying to scare him or something, but I'm out. I want no part of this. So I started to walk home. And what, as it, were you on a beach that was by your house? Or? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I started to walk home, and I heard Aurora say, oh, the gun doesn't have bullets. And then Scruffy said, that's too bad because mine does. <gasps> At this point, I turn around because I feel like I've seen enough in this city to know what comes next. And I turn around, and he has a gun pointed at the two of them. And he's moving closer and closer to them. And then he shoots Aurora in the head. Aurora goes down. He still has a gun pointed at Barbara. So I took out my gun and I had it pointed at him. Just in case. Because if he, was, if he shot her, I was going to shoot him. And then he started to back away from Barbara. But he was saying something. I don't know what he was saying. I couldn't hear him. Just could hear the fact that he was talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he turned and the gun was now pointed at me. So I shot him until the gun was no longer pointed at me. And uh, I called 911 saying Scruffy shot Aurora. So I shot Scruffy. I'm sorry. I went to check on Scruffy to, you know, because I just shot him. I might as well take care of the gunshot, you know. Yeah. But he told me to go fuck myself and that he didn't want me taking care of him. So I moved on to Aurora. I've seen enough that I know when someone can't be saved. And she died. I tried. I mean, I. Barbara was freaking out. And so I just went through the motions, like oh. to make her, to make them feel better. EMS showed up, and I, I helped with the IV. I helped with the blood bag. I even, I even did a morphine drip and adrenaline, knowing that none of it would help, because her brain was all over the beach. But. I did it to make them feel better. We went to the hospital. Suri did everything he could, but she didn't make it. And so now, I don't know what's really going on. I. Okay, so after the hospital, you you 
reported it. We called in 911. What happened to Scruffy? I mean, he's alive. Is he in jail? Is there I don't a think police so. report? I mean, going yes, on? we. It was hours of waiting at MRPD for all of us to get interrogated. Yeah. And I feel terrible that I told them exactly what happened, like, with the gun and everything, because I feel like I threw my friend under the bus, but it's what happened. Really? Really? Oh, she got, she had pop too. <laughs> oh my god. 5M says no. No RP for you. No role play. No. How dare you try to have fun? How dare you try to tell a story? How dare you? <laughs> This is number three, yeah. Annoying. Oh, the queue is growing. It's not broken, but it's fine. Come on. I actually took one of the band-aids off today to give it some air. And the scrapes are <laughs> hilarious. Let me look at the other one, actually, since we're sitting here waiting in queue for the number of people who had popped along with me, question mark. This is the arc where Kiki becomes Joker? No. Nah, this is just probably the arc where she becomes a lot less tolerant of a lot of things. Oof, this is great. It's real bad, but at least I'm not bleeding anymore, I don't think. It looks like it's scabbed over. Nah, it's the opposite, Oligon. She hates what happened. Does Kiki have Dante's number? Nope. <laughs> she does not have Dante's number. How's that my foot doing? That hurts too. Eh, pretty bruised. We're okay. We Gucci. Kiki will just become more selfish? Probably. She might become a little less fun in that she probably won't participate in SBS as much anymore. Which is disappointing, because SBS is fun until someone dies. Oh, 
Okay. I'm back. I'm just gonna wait for Shirley. Take two. Uh -huh. I forget what I was saying. Okay. Uh, you guys were interrogated. Oh, yes. Um, so we were interrogated. It took like three hours. Because <laughs> there were three of us oh and there was only two um, interrogation rooms. And so we just kind of had to take turns. We had a lawyer, of course. Yeah. I just don't know what's going to happen. And you you told everything how it was, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not about to lie to them. It'll only make things worse. I just feel bad that I feel like I threw them under the bus, even though I just told what happened. I think that's a very normal response especially since you consider these people friends um, i don't know if i consider scruffy a friend he's an acquaintance well okay <laughs> yeah not scruffy obviously but uh barbara and aurora i would assume i didn't know aurora as well as barbara i only met her i think twice how was uh barbara after the whole incident after Scruffy was down and Aurora was Inconsolable. deceased. She... I've seen so much death since becoming EMS that I... I think to protect myself, I just kind of go straight into the acceptance stage. You because, have to in your yeah. line of work. You have to have that separation and compartmentalizing. And, um, and so sometimes I worry if I'm a little insensitive when it comes to death sometimes, you know? I, yeah. I forget. And I tried really hard not to do that. Oh, she's fine. I talked to her out of character. She's very fine. But it... She was... She was inconsolable. I tried so hard to comfort her, but I, I wasn't enough. And I feel bad. I do. I understand. I remember when Hannah died. I think that when Hannah died, though, I just shut down. I didn't break down. Everyone handles grief differently. I know. A part of me yeah. also feels really bad because <laughs> I just couldn't help but think how we learned our lesson on not to do stuff like this. Like, more so Barbara, has she learned a lesson? Mm-hmm. Well, I would, I would hope so. I, I know what you so mean. Too. You don't mean it in, like, a malicious way or, like, you want her to suffer or anything. Exactly. You just I, mean it in, like, you don't want to be in the situation again or see her in the situation again. I don't... Yeah, exactly. I... What if I lose my job over this? Have you been contacted by anyone? Like police or anyone that you work with? Uh, you're in, I mean, not since the interrogation. At the end of the interrogation, what did they say? Did they say, like, we'll be in contact or... Yeah, they said that we're not under arrest or anything. Um, and they appreciated my honesty. Um, and that they believed me. 
I don't know what Scrappy said. Yeah. That's where he it's He can twist it in to... literally any way he wants. It's a very complicated situation. It is. Because he can say, I was kidnapped, I was fighting for my life, and I had to shoot in order to get out of there. I mean, I made sure to mention that they said the gun had no bullets, and they said it out loud to the point where even I could hear it from several yards away. Yeah. He can still, I guess, He even responded to it. He said, thing. that's unfortunate, because I have them, you know? Yeah. He can't even pretend that he didn't hear it. But the kidnapping thing, for sure. Yeah. Because she definitely had a gun to him and told him to get into the car. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty messy situation, if I'm being honest. It's very messy, and I don't know and how it, it got like, to that point. And I was there. Well, it seems like almost you were too afraid to do anything and your body kind of shut down during the whole from what you're telling me on how you reacted to things and what you were thinking it kind of sounds to me like you just shut down and let things play out because you didn't know how to stop it and you didn't know how to get out of the situation I guess that's partially true I just because when I was things trying to tell like them to that, stop I was trying to tell them it was a bad idea and I just didn't want anyone to get hurt. I know. And then the moment I started to leave. You had to, you had to help in that moment. You staying in that moment after you realized that Aurora was shot, that was the right thing to do. I know. But it shouldn't have gotten to that point. I told Barbara not to think about the shit I would have, but um, all I could think was I should have just stayed put. I shouldn't have driven. I should have made everybody get out of the car, or I should have just walked home from Little Soul. Which doesn't change anything. Say, it's not your fault, though. I know. This whole situation... If you were there or if you weren't there, it would I have, have a feeling it would have happened. And Barbara would have been alone. Although Scruffy wouldn't have been shot. Barbara probably would have been. Or worse. That's the worry. I wasn't sure if he was going to shoot her or not. You know what they Go say, no me. witnesses. Yeah, yep. Well, and it's Scruffy. He, uh, he can let his temper get the better of him. And uh, I've seen scary sides of Scruffy before, so. I've never seen a side of Scruffy. Although, Tessa did tell me he killed a man once. And that he admitted to it. He even gave her the gun. But, um. Now, here's a question. Mm -hmm. Remember you texted me a while ago with Barbara's name in it attached to Brass. Oh. Is this Brass is Barbara? Yep. Okay. Does he know about any of this? Not yet. But he will. Oh, jeez. Okay. Because I know that Brass and Scruffy are friends. Yeah. Was Brass also friends with Aurora? From what Barbara tells me, yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. Okay. Well, we just take a deep breath. <sighs> take everything day by day, moment by moment. Don't let this consume your mind of what I should have done, how I shouldn't have been there. Anything that your mind is, is trying to tell you right now, just let that all leave. 
just take it day by day and do what you feel is right continue to tell the truth i know it can feel like you're betraying your friends but at the same time i would hope that your friends are mature enough to realize that this is not okay what happened should not have happened and take some responsibility and not be mad at you for doing what's right you are ems <laughs> You are also in a very committed relationship with a ranger. Yeah. So you're going to do what's right. And that does not make you a bad person. It can feel horrible. I can only imagine. But at the end of the day, the truth will come out whether you tell the truth or not. And it's better to tell the truth and be on that side than on the other alternative side. Yeah. Fred's going to have a so field sorry. day with this if he finds out. Who? Fred. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> oh. I just... I just hope they get the right officers on this case, you know. Who interrogated you? Uh, Nova and some guy named Garcia, who I don't know. Nova was the police officer that went camping with us, right? She is, yeah. Okay. She seems nice. She seems like she has a level head. Yeah, um... She was the one leading the investigation at the time. Are you going to uh, tell your, your work or are you going to let it black? I don't know. Come out? I don't know. Yeah. Is there anyone at work you can trust to like maybe dip your toe in to be like, I did this and they won't tell anyone or no. probably actually the chief himself well that's that's completely in your in your court if you want to do that i just don't want it eating at you to the point where you start spiraling and you know your mind starts saying crazy things to you because if you're worried about your job, I know it's going to be hard. I don't know what they would charge you with, though, if, if they do the investigation. and I really don't know. The only thing I can think of would be um, maybe the kidnapping. Yeah. Oh, this is an officer. Hang on. Okay, answer it. Bye. Hey, Kiki, what's up? I fucked up. What do you mean? I, let me put my stuff in my locker. Come pick me up. Where are you? I'm on Josiah with Shirley. Um, we're chatting. I can ping you. Okay, I'll uh, I'll be there ASAP. Okay. Um, what's your ping? Uh. One, three, two, six. Thirteen, twenty-six. Did you get that? Yeah, I got it. All right. I'll see you in a few minutes. Wait, where did you see him? I'm on Josiah. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I'll be on the way. Okay. See you in a bit. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I don't think he knows yet. He's part of SCU though. So maybe he'll get involved. I don't know. Does it matter? Like, I don't know enough about cops, but if it's in someone's area, does like a certain department have to take over? Or? I think, um, I think anyone can technically investigate anything, but there are certain um, departments that just 
specialize and do better. And he's part of the street crimes unit, and I guess this is technically a street crime, because someone got shot. There were no drugs involved, there were no... It was just people being dumb. He's a friend. I can trust him. Okay. Do you know Winston Walker? No, I barely know any cops. Fair enough. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> I never <laughs> have to interact with them, really, so... No, I, I understand. I I feel like um, I mostly hang out with cops at this point. Uh-huh. Well, it's very tied into your job, so... Yeah. It makes yeah. sense. But he's a good egg. Oh, good. Well, I can leave you guys to uh, talk if you would like. Um, or can, I can be here for you. It's you can that stay. I really I, don't mind either way. I told you everything. Everything will be okay. I know it feels like the world is crashing down and it's a big boo-boo, but you'll get through it. You've gotten through Kenneth Jesperson and that craziness, so. <laughs> Kenneth Jesperson, Kyle Pred, some random hillbilly. Yep. Now I just need to get through myself, apparently. I haven't even told Tessa yet. I couldn't bring One me. thing at a time. Yeah, she's... She's having a bit of a staycation, so she was at home the whole time, and she's going to be at home a few more days, so she deserves okay. it, and I don't want to stress her out. Don't and stress her out, but she also... She was asleep by the time I got home, so... I think it's important for you to let her know that whenever she wants to come out of the house, to talk to you first so that she hears it from you. Uh, yeah, I... Just so that... She I doesn't get yeah. misinformation from anyone else or mm. feels like you're hiding something from her, you know. I'm usually pretty good about saying, hey, before you go on duty, I need to talk to you. Um, but I'm trying not to blow up her phone. Yeah. Because I have a feeling everybody else is because it's kind of why she's taking the staycations because people keep calling her and dragging her into stuff. But, um, I'm sure she'll understand. I'm sure she won't be mad at you or anything. I think she'll be mad at the situation that it happened. I don't think she'll oh, be I'm mad sure at she you. will. I am worried about Bryce and all this. Yeah, that man seems to escape one thing and then another thing happens. Yeah. Uh feel really bad, actually. I do, too. For him um, and Barbara, like, doing really well. And they everything. just started actually dating. Like, oh. actually putting a label on it and everything. I'm sure Barbara's not doing so great with that as well. No. The, the entire time, she just kept apologizing to me and worried that I would be affected by this and... I told her to stop apologizing. What does Barbara normally do? Like, does she normally do stuff like this, or...? Well... She's... I, I call her... I call her a goblin. She, um... She generates chaos, but in a way that's different from Cleo, but has very, very mild similarities in that she just brings it around but whereas Cleo is incredibly violent with her chaos Barbara's usually just chaos yeah like like harmless chaos usually yeah like um eating dead fish off the shore and oh my goodness yeah I know it's <laughs> um, okay it, yeah it's usually harmless it doesn't usually lead to anything. Usually, I'm the one calling EMS for her four or five times a day. Oh, no. Yeah. She's incredibly protective, and that was what led it 
what led to all this is that um, Scruffy heard Aurora. And so she tunnel visioned on that. And even though I said it was a bad idea, it wasn't enough. I feel like if Bryce had been there, he might have been able to stop her, but I don't know. It's, uh, it's your mind again, spiraling. Um, yeah, I know. It's, I, I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know Barbara like at all. I've never met her. Uh, the only, is, I only have a name. She but is a I, good person. I, okay. In spite of all this, she's not a bad person. I just know that with Bryce and Cleo, it didn't seem like Bryce could ever say anything to stop that woman from doing anything that she wanted mm. to do. I will um, say, he did tell me that he has talked her out of things before, and she has okay. gone, oh, wait, you're right. It is a bad idea. And so I really, really hoped that I would be able to convince her that it was a bad idea, and that it was dangerous, but... I even tried to pull the Bryce card. I, I tried to bring him up and she said to keep him out of it. I think she was just heated in the moment. Yeah. Well, Bryce has been through a lot. Mm. He, I, I think he'll be okay. I don't think he'll, I mean, he stuck around with Cleo for how long, you know? Long time, yeah. I think he can take a lot. And if he does care about Barbara, I think they'll be okay and they'll work it out. I think it's just going to be a little bit of a, a, rough a shock match. for him at the beginning. Oh, I yeah. Hope he doesn't I... get like flashbacks or anything from a, a worse time. I am not looking forward to this conversation. Has he? So he didn't come into the city yesterday. He didn't leave mm -mm. the house. No, nah, he stayed at home yesterday. That man's never going to stay home ever again. Nope. And Tessa's never going to take a vacation ever again. Oh. I guarantee it. I hate that, but I guarantee it. Well, I'm glad she's taking Tom. She deserves it. She does. Did I tell you about our date the other day? I don't think so. Oh, it was funny. So I, um, I picked her up and I brought her to Uwu. We had dinner. Um, we talked about work a lot, which is fine because, you know, work is basically us at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, EMS has become my life and being a ranger is her life. And, um, took her hiking actually over here <laughs> Ooh, yeah I the Josiah Tower is what I call one of my happy places and so we hiked up and around and actually I went to the place that you suggested uh, a couple months ago where the little overlook is mm -hmm. we went there hung out took pictures she <laughs> she showed me fireworks <gasps> what she had a fireworks launcher from a proposal she had helped somebody with, and uh, she set it off. It was really cool. That is so cool. It was really cool. Um, and then afterward, Bryce actually called, <laughs> and during while we were still up there, and I was like, "This better be an emergency." So I answered to check on it, make sure no one was hurt, and he just wanted to know how it was going and where we were. And from his tone, I could tell he was trying to find us. Oh my goodness. So, at one point we heard a car and we dipped, because we had a feeling. Um, he then called again, and because I knew that he was Subtle. trying to find us, yes, because I knew he was trying to find us, I answered, like, what's up? Uh -huh. And he asked how it's going, and I said, oh, it's going fine. We've decided to relocate. <laughs> oh my goodness. We thought we heard something, so we left, and he's like, what did you think you heard? A car. <laughs> And uh, so he goes, well, if you need anything, let me know, you know, like a helicopter tour or a flight. And I was like, oh, OK. So then Tessa was like, I think he desperately wants to give us a helicopter tour. So we said yes, finally. We met him at Eric's. 
but we had to wait for them. And then while waiting, <laughs> while waiting, three Yetis showed up <laughs> and started, oh, no. started attacking us. Yep, you know where this is going. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> and it turned out it was the three of them. It was uh, Bryce, Barbara, and Dante. Of course it Dante was. is one of Tessa's dads, by the way. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And uh, he took us on the helicopter tour. Um, called dressed the, as the Yeti? Yeah, yeah dressed as the oh Yeti. Oh, my God. <laughs> it, was per- it was perfectly chaotic. Um, I think it was actually the perfect date for us because he was taking us around the island. And she goes, can I request somewhere specific? And he goes, absolutely, dude. Of course. Just show us where to go. And she requests this random island off the East Coast. Uh-huh. So we go over there and we land and he goes, go have fun, you crazy kids. Go have a dramatic conversation at the end of the island. And we walk up and there's a crime scene. <clears throat> oh my goodness. She brought us there to investigate a crime scene. Of course she did. Sorry, my throat is super dry, guys. That is too good. Mm-hmm. We took a quick look at it. I'm laughing because I know exactly what's going on now. And we go back to the helicopter. He's like, oh, that was fast. What's happening? <laughs> and she goes, that's just something I wanted to check. And he goes, is this a crime scene? <clears throat> oh, so then up. so then Bryce is, uh, Bryce is like, well, where can we go that isn't a crime scene? And Tess is like, that doesn't exist. <laughs> And Bryce's love tour became Tessa's memory, uh, Tessa's trail down memory oh. lane of all the crimes that she has found in all the places we flew over. Oh no. It's okay. She, she actually sounded like she was having a good time. <clears throat> and I just thought the whole thing was hilarious. Yeah. I, it's a part of her that I accepted a long time ago. That um, being, being a ranger is just who she is. You know. <clears throat> you guys ever do get married during the wedding? I just hope that she doesn't <laughs> get across. <laughs> hold that thought oh. one second. Hello? Hold, yes, hello? Yes. Oh, what do you mean someone just shot a dog? I gotta go. You guys speed through the, the vows. Okay, I, I do, I do. And she's off. I feel like I feel like if we do get married, it's gonna just be like a a quickie just to get it done. Uh huh. And that's okay. I actually found out um, a bit of information uh, regarding her feelings on that. Ooh. Oh, you okay? So mm-hmm. you you texted me. We never had this conversation. We never had a chance. No. What did I say? You said something along the lines of like Bryce put himself. Oh yeah, a... he took an L. <laughs> yeah, he took an L. He took an L for me, and I have a feeling that's Winston. Yeah, it is. I'll, I'll explain. Why does he have a metal detector? Well, work, uh, you know, multitasking. Why do you have a metal detector? What are you doing? What is her <laughs> You got this. You find it. Nice. Incredible. Oh, I heard it. Might be by the tree. Yeah, I'll get it later. Okay. What's going on? Um, I had to shoot someone yesterday. They deserve it? He killed someone. You killed someone? He killed someone. Oh, he killed someone? Oh, then he deserved it. Good shit. I don't know. I'm proud of you. But I might get taken in for kidnapping. For shooting someone? So... 
I was hanging out with Barbara. This is all in a statement anyway, so. I was hanging out with Barbara, and she got... Do you know Aurora Sparks? No, I think I've heard her name or seen her on mm -hmm. Twitter, but... I, she hangs around with Barbara, right? But that's Best about friend. all I know. Yeah, best friend. Okay, I've never actually met her. I think she's missing a face. That's about all I know. And she's dead now. Um, right. So I was hanging out with Barbara and Aurora called her and said Scruffy stabbed her and took her to Grandma's and then left her there. So she wanted a ride. So we went over, picked her up, and while we were there, Scruffy showed up with his girlfriend and Pilbus because his girlfriend had run him over. And so they were bringing him back to treat him there. Had some talk. It was all just verbal. Nothing actually happened. Took Aurora to the hospital, got her properly treated, and then went to go get food. While getting food, Barbara texted Scruffy that what he did was fucked up. Scruffy didn't like that he got texted that what he did was fucked up. And uh, he called Aurora. They argued over the phone. We found Scruffy just by chance because we were on our way to get food and he just happened to be walking down the sidewalk. Barbara terrorized him a little bit by driving in circles around him, but everybody was laughing, even Scruffy. Barbara then took out her gun and told him to get in the car. And then she told me to drive. And I, I didn't know how it got to this point. I was very confused and I started to drive because there's now a gun involved and I'm just kind of trained at this point that if there's a gun involved you listen to the person who has the gun even yep. if it's your friend and um, I didn't know if I didn't drive would would someone get hurt or would it just get worse and so I drove and the whole time I'm trying to tell them it's a bad idea and that we shouldn't be doing this and what is even happening what is going on why is this happening you know Trying to de-escalate the situation and find out what the hell is going on. We get to the beach and um, we talk. It's just talk. It's just, why did you do that to Aurora? And he explains that he's high as hell and she no balls to him. And I'm like, that's not a feasible excuse to do something. That would never hold up if you took that to court. Like, literally, that's not an excuse to stab a person. It's because they, quote-unquote, no balls to you. So, Barbara then took him by the arm and walked him to the water. And I don't find ocean dumping to be a funny joke for obvious reasons. So, I'm trying to still tell them it's a bad idea to stop it, to take him out of the water, to don't, to not do what they're about to do. Because I can't tell if they're trying to scare him or if they're actually trying to, like, ocean dump him on the shore. I really hope it was just trying to scare him because if they were trying to ocean dump him at the shore, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, we call it puddle dumping. Puddle dumping? I love it. Okay, yeah. well, I didn't know if they were trying to puddle dump him or just scare him. So then the gun came back out and Aurora took the gun and I said, I'm out. I'm done. You're not listening to me. I... I'm obviously not going to be stopping you because you don't care what I have to say. So I'm out. So I started to walk away and then I heard Aurora say that the gun didn't have any bullets. And then Scruffy said, that's too bad because mine does. And at, the, at this point, I turned around because usually a comment like that is followed by blap blap. And sure enough, Scruffy had his gun pointed at Barbara and Aurora. And he was moving closer and closer to them. He got close to Aurora and he shot her in the head and she went down immediately. So then I took out my gun and I had it pointed at him because he still had a gun pointed at Barbara. And he was saying something, but I don't know what he was saying. So then he's backing away from Barbara, shouting something. I can't understand it. And then he turns and he points the gun at me. So I shoot him because there's now a gun pointed at me, and I don't know if he's just going to shoot me now. And he goes down. I call 911. I try to help him, because 
it's just my job. And he told me to go fuck myself and that I should just let him die. So I go check on Aurora. She was already dead. But Barbara was freaking out because it's her best friend. So I went through the motions. I, I even went as far as to giving her a blood bag, morphine, and adrenaline, knowing none of it would happen. And then uh, spent the next three hours in interrogation. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't want to lose my job. I don't want to go to jail. I don't know how it got to the point that it got. I was trying so hard to make him stop, but no one was listening to me. Do you have a lawyer? Serenade. Okay. I don't know if they're good or not. They were just available. Scruffy has Bill Mays. Actually, uh, Bill Mays, when he learned that I was involved, uh, offered to switch sides. <laughs> But I, I said that Scruffy needed somebody and I couldn't just take all the lawyers. I don't think you're in trouble. You don't think so? And it's the whole point of a cold case. I understand that it's stressful. I've never you're shot right anyone before, sure. Winston. I mean, at least not outside of a video game. Kind of desensitized to it at this point, but um, makes sense for you. Doesn't really get much easier, especially if they die. Death, I can handle. It's my job. Yeah, but you're usually trying to save them, right? Yeah, but I've picked up enough serial killer murders at this point that I just kind of have trained myself to jump to the acceptance stage. Because I can't do anything for them. I'm more worried about... I mean, I'm worried about myself and my job, but... Now I'm worried about Bryce and Barbara. Fuck Scruffy. I just... I don't know what to do. I wasn't trying to kill anyone. I just didn't want him to hurt anyone else after he killed Aurora. Make the argument that you acted in self-defense after he killed someone. Um, you give your side of the story. And the I'd courts will look at that. And I'm sure they'll look at it and go, okay, she acted in self-defense. She correctly used her firearm. What if they tried it? Well, she kidnapped him and then she shot him. Even though I was trying to de-escalate the situation the whole time and I really didn't actually understand what was happening. Yeah, and you attempted to stop it the whole... So you're not an accomplice to it, because you were actively trying to stop the situation. There's no right to report in this city. That's uh, sorry, no, uh, the obligation to report. You, you can't... And I, I was driving the whole time, yeah. so it's not like I could. Oh, one moment, guys. Let me stop and dial 911 while you have a gun pointed at somebody's head. I think you should be okay. I hope so. I feel terrible because I, I told the truth, but a lot of it paints Barbara in such a bad light and she's my friend. Because it was Barbara's gun and Barbara's the one who held it to him. Barbara is... 
A goblin. No, goblins are ugly. No, no, like, I mean, uh, like not like physically she's a goblin, just like she's a chaos goblin, you know? Yeah, she's not innocent in any regard. She's going to do silly things and yeah. she's going to face the consequences for those silly things. It's she will commit crimes, and that's just kind of the way Barbara is. Mm. The whole time, she was just apologizing to me. She felt bad that she put me in that position. Yeah, that's the real problem. I guess I'm not the Burger Shot ambassador anymore. Yeah, that's Burger Shot. At least I got a pride toy before I got in trouble. It's cute. You Kiki. Kiki's bigger than Burger Shot. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I'm also worried if, like, the wrong people get involved, I guess. Like, what if Cross is the judge? He hates EMS. What if Pred finds out and he tries to Cross insert himself hates into everyone. it? Pred would have no standing to get involved. He's going to have a field day if he finds out about this. Whether he can do anything legal or not, I'm never going to hear the end of it. I just wanted to get pizza. That's all I wanted was to get some food, man. Did you ever get your pizza? No, we never got food. We we you got into a scuffle pizza? on the beach instead and then had to go straight to MRPD. I actually would love food. I'm very hungry. Do you guys want to go get pizza? Sure. Come with us, Winston. Of course. Good. Did you want to try and pick up whatever was over there? There it is. Oh my goodness. Oh, there it is. Found it. Nice. Did you know? I'm looking for the treasure. Wait, it's not here. Oh. Not here, wait. Okay, we're fine. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay, it's okay. 